problem. Welcome to Axel's Garage. We are in a zoo kitchen today. It's a Christmas miracle that that's And Amanda miracle. is making Christmas cookies. Well, they're just cookies. Well, she's making Grandma Rose, my mom's, recipes of her cookies that she always made at Christmas time. They're not necessarily Christmas cookies, but she made them at Christmas time. So Amanda's making some cookies. She started before I got here, so I couldn't show you that recipe. But she just turned around and asked the big dummy to start making the... What are you making, Robbie? Detus. Detus. Does, does she have how it's spelled in her recipe there, Amanda? D-E-T-D-U. D-E-T-D-U. So, D-E-T-D-U. The rumor has it that that's not what they're called. It's a chocolate and peanut spice cookie. Right, it's a little nutmeggy. Nutmeg, cloves, allspice, and cinnamon. Allspice and nutmeg in it, and a lot of chocolate and some crushed up peanuts. We don't believe they're detus. We believe that the detu, this is the story I heard. We have uh, Gina here with Luna. Michelle's getting her hair done, and we're baking all at the same time. I don't want to hear this hair in the cookie crap, tough shit. This is the way we live. I'm not going to be near the cooking. Michelle said she's not going to be near the cooking. So. The story that I remember from when I was a child was that they weren't called detus. It was that when my grandfather handed them to the children and he was giving them out, he would say detu, detu, detu. Now, I don't know what that translated to, if he was speaking Italian or some kind of broken English or what he was saying, but he would go detu, 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 almost like one for you, one for you, one for you. And that's how they became detus. Now, I, I don't remember whether my mom told me this or my dad. It's been a long, long time, but that's the story I remember. If, if, if you got an idea, bleep bloop it down in the comments below. In the meantime, we got the OG big dummy Robbie getting the stuff together. Amanda's reading the recipe while she's making Grandma's machine cookies. And uh, Gina and Luna are over there. They're doing Michelle's hair, and Michelle is, is over there with a thing, and she's blocking her face now. Yep. So, busy kitchen here in Axel's Garage. Axel's Kitchen. The kitchen of Axel's Garage. And here's, here's Robbie. Robbie, that wasn't a full scoop. It's far too You're worth. supposed to, but how are you going to measure it if you don't take a full scoop? He doesn't need to. It's going in a measuring cup. Oh, all right. My mistake. All right. You so, stay over there. We're doing death too. So, what's in the death too? Robbie, what are you putting in there? Uh, five cups of flour. Five cups of flour. What kind of flour is that? Flour IQ. What, like, it's is it all-purpose? Regular all-purpose all -purpose flour. Regular all-purpose flour. I don't care what brand it is. It was the brand on sale. The brand on sale. That's the perfect brand. So while Robbie is measuring flour, Amanda's over here cooking the making the machine cookies. They call machine cookies because we use a machine. Then they look like that when they come out. Too and then they look like that when they cook. And Luna's eating a machine cookie. No? Luna don't like looking at me. <laughs> Let's go to this side and see. Let's see. Oh, there she is. There she is. <laughs> All right, what are you putting in now, Robbie? Uh, sugar. Two cups of sugar. Two cups of sugar. Five Seems cups like of, a lot of sugar. sugar. Two cups of well, cookies. They're supposed to be sweet. What do you got next, Robbie? One cup of Hershey cocoa powder. Three tablespoons of baking powder. Baking powder or baking soda? Powder. Powder? Powder. This one, Robbie. Robbie just learned how to cook for himself. Baking is uh, his next level. I don't understand when people say they can't cook. You follow a recipe. Why is it hard to follow directions? I mean, that's hard for most people, but. <laughs> well, Charlie says when his wife makes toast, there's bones in it. Oh, that's a bigger issue. I don't understand when people say they like, can't cook. <laughs> My cousin Christy actually taught me how to bake. Who so taught you how to bake, Robbie? My cousin Christy. Taught you how to bake? Yeah. I'm not the best at it, but I can manage my own. I'm good at helping. Can you bake... Christie's chocolate chip cookies? Mm. Not to her status, but I can figure it out. 
It's a lot of prep work involved. What? In chocolate chip cookies? Her, she does she does all the mixing and all that stuff the night before, and then she lets the cookie dough sit in the cookies in the refrigerator bake oh. better than when she lets it sit overnight in a uh, Which is what my plan was with the death dues was to make Half the batter the dough first. Right there. What's a clove? See, they're whole cloves, which is the only thing that's throwing me off about those, but no. Right? It's not supposed to be whole cloves. So it's three so. tablespoons. We so you have to grind those. Teaspoons. No. Half oh, a teaspoon. You gotta grind these up. Oh. Yeah, it's supposed to be ground cloves. Do we have a pestle and martyr or mortar or whatever it's called? <laughs> what would we do be doing with that? Guacamole. <laughs> um, we don't do guacamole. Courtney knows guacamole. Uh what about if we put it in the, the coffee bean grinder? That, yep, perfect. Yeah. Grind those up, Robbie. I didn't, that was just what we had in the pantry. So these Probably were, God knows. <laughs> these were cloves. There's no way whole cloves go in the recipe. It's got to be ground up powdered. I don't know why she'd have whole cloves. We might have cloves. No, in we the, don't. We don't? You sure? We looked, Robbie. had to go to my house and get all the spices. Good. Hey. Half a tablespoon. I have ours up too. Sure, I need a can. Half a tablespoon of cloves? Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon? Half a teaspoon. We did all that for a half a teaspoon? Mm-hmm. All right, Robbie, you got the uh, cloves in and you ground them up. Mm -hmm. And now what are you putting in? Half a teaspoon of allspice. Half a teaspoon so of allspice. Steve-O is uh, the little big dummy is taking the, the cloves out of the coffee grinder and putting them in the clove no, thing. What'd you get, cloves in your mouth? No, it just smells it Smells like cloves. All right, so nutmeg is next. Yeah. And half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Basically, you said Robbie gets his baking for me and he goes, no, I didn't. So you know what I got for you, Robbie? A big uh, read between the lines. <laughs> no. He said I didn't say that because that's not what he said to my dad. My dad just turned it around to fit his own narrative. <laughs> I got yeah. baking experience from Christy. I want to say I'm a baker because of her, because I'm not a baker. He, he claimed, so So Robbie claimed that um, you taught him how to bake, and that I said, can you make Christy's chocolate chip cookies? And he said, not to her standards. No, not to her. I didn't say that. See? Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I That's not. Okay. Not to like her. He said standard. That's not what he meant. He meant like not to like as good as she could do it type of thing. I bet you could. He she he claims you do a lot of prep work to do your chocolate chip cookies. No, not a lot. So you exaggerate things. Robbie's cranky. Listen, I saw him. He, he sounds very cranky. He does I'm, sound cranky. I've ever seen in my entire life. Robbie, I just missed that. Would you put him? Uh -oh. Cinnamon. How much? Uh, Luckily for her, it's for my students, so it doesn't really matter. All right. Love you guys. Love you too. Bye. Do three, we'll mix it up and smell it, and then we'll decide. You can always add more cinnamon at any point. You can't. Half a cup, half chopped nuts. I'm guessing that's a cup. Well, so we have to chop the nuts. All right, so Robbie, we, we kind of missed that. What'd you do with the nuts? I did a cup of chopped nuts, poured them in, and now I'm mixing everything thoroughly. All the dry ingredients, All the dry ingredients. and the chopped peanuts. We did and the peanuts. chopped peanuts. Yeah. peanuts. Okay. Next is a pound of Crisco. Oh. Crisco. That's this stuff here. Crisco. How do you measure a pound? Amanda. Uh, I put it in there as ounces. Oh, okay. So, was it 16 ounces or eight ounces? 16 ounces. 16 in a pound, right? Yes. Well, more machine cookies coming out of the oven. So you're putting in a, a pound of Crisco and then you're mixing that up? Yes, yeah, so you mix it with your hand and work it in to make it doughy. When do you put the chocolate syrup in? Can I have that one with the when quality control? <laughs> when do you do the chocolate syrup? No, After? Once we do the wet ingredients. Okay. Actually, you know, I don't oh, so know. Because there's no chocolate syrup in the recipe. What do you mean there's no chocolate syrup in the recipe? She's, I've never put chocolate syrup in. That's but we found a stuck. recipe that said chocolate syrup. It's in the notebook. I don't have the notebook. That's why they always Where's the notebook? 
Okay. I had you the whole left recipe. everything at home. No, I purposely didn't bring the notebook. I think I have something here. Uh, what happened to All right, so he mixes this together, and then we add the wet ingredients. Is that what you're saying, Amanda? Yes. Well, Whoa, this is what like, are you doing over there? I'm icing, but I can't really. I've got to use my finger. You're icing the machine cookies? That, Just use your hands. No, I need like a, a brush. We, oh, we got a barbecue brush. Where? In the drawer right by to your right. I'll go. <laughs> no, making out, Robbie. I know why this isn't working. Mm. I remember now. What? Ah, oh, she's dunking. You go through twice as much icing this way, but. Oh, much better when you dunk. Now I remember. That one we got it. You want sprinkles? We're gonna. Some of them. I don't like sprinkles on all of them. Some people call them jimmies. You're right. Robbie. That's pretty good, Robbie. Uh, I got oh, Jimmy's different than sprinkles. I got sprinkles all Jimmy's over Jimmy's are the long floor. sprinkles. Aha! When I made their golf cookies, I have sprinkles all over my What are the sparkly sprinkles? Mm. Sprinkles. No, the, the sprinkles that are like stripper glitter. Sprinkles. Yeah, that's, you gotta do that. Grandma used to do that. What? Scrape all the stuff out of our hands. Oh, so that we, we just got an update here. Can we melt it? No, you can't melt the Crisco. No, nope, no more. So this is going to turn into a dough. So you got to add more Crisco, just just a couple scoops, and then you know grind that in with your hands until it turns into a dough. I didn't realize that. I thought there was other wet ingredients that we had in, that we had to add in. Don't grab the bag. All right, so we're gonna keep adding Crisco little by little. That's good, Steve. Let him work that in. Yeah. Until it turns one. into a dough. Hey, you hungry? You want couch? Oh, you yeah. usually okay with Steve? Yeah. 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 All right, so Robbie's been kneading away, trying to turn this dry mixture into a dough. I remember it being wetter. It was shiny. It was a shiny doughy mixture so we did add about would you add half a cup or a cup of uh, chocolate syrup Steve, you measure. You huh? you measure. Add some more. no i'm saying about how much you think it was <coughs> about eight ounces yeah six eight ounces half a cup is four ounces <laughs> too much you can add a little more I just, I, I specifically remember when my dad used to roll out the, the logs, yeah. that it was shiny. It will be once we get it out here and knead it and make it nice. Oh, really? Oh, oh okay. First. Oh, okay. Look at this is shiny in the machine. Yeah. It gets there when you use your hands. Oh, okay. But it needs to get out so we can, like, knead it like that, but I don't have enough room for that. Okay. So should he stop doing what he's doing? Well, now that you put the chocolate syrup in, he's got to mix the chocolate syrup in. But then he can stop. Okay. Nails anyway, and there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, that's exactly how it needs to be. Cracky like this. Cracky, but but wet and shiny. But, All at the same time. The problem that I find with the death juice is the dough is very aerated. So when you roll it, you get like little holes in it from where the air pockets are. I almost remember my dad now folding it over and rolling it again. Not folding it over? I don't fold it over. Fold it over. See? And roll it again. Give me a butter knife over here. Make some more dents. You don't just bake it and then cut it? Negative. You gotta squeeze them when you put them on the thing. Not squeeze. It's a press and a press. Okay. Pinch and a press? Pinch and a press? Or is it just a pinch? No, pinch. It's, is pinch it like that? No. No, they're flat. flat. Top. Pinch, pinch and a press. press. Pinch and a press.
They have to be identical, otherwise the, the gods are angry. It does not have a pinch on the directions. The directions say press. But I remember a pinch. Maybe when you pick them up, they automatically pinch. Uh, Ten minutes have to be golden on the bottom, which golden on the bottom is very hard to tell on a chocolate cookie, by the way. She hates coming here. We keep bringing her. No. See the pinch in the purse. I'm down in five minutes. I just want to dry my hair. Why this stuff comes to a ball. Okay? Good. They're supposed to be one inch pieces. Wash the dish towel here. You're gonna have to wash. Oh, 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 they do. They look different. What do you mean, no, they don't? You flip them over until the other side's golden, and then when you're done, you put them in powdered sugar. Right? I've never flipped them. Oh. Are they good? Yeah. They're not. They can't sit there with them. Well, the shape, it doesn't look like the right shape. It doesn't. Like they flattened out too much. Yeah. Can I put know. this in the refrigerator? What? <coughs> what is this? They look exactly like they're supposed to. Do they? Mm -hmm. Three scoops of lemon. She said they, they look exactly like they're supposed to. And I brought my hand. You know what I think is So mom can have the last. Yep. <laughs> so these are the mostly cooled and frosted detus. I'm going to say the frosting needs to be thicker. Ah. Uh, The taste is there. They are a little crumbly inside. They always are. No, more so. No, they always feel like you're eating dirt. Yeah. Was it too dry? I think maybe more Crisco. I don't think we made it wet enough. I don't know, they're good. I like them. I remember them always crumbling. Because the detus, if we have a container, need to go in a container, but otherwise... So those are the detus. I have a container, but I have to get it to the other way. They're close. I think we can tweak it a little bit. A little more Crisco. I want this wee stuff. I don't really, uh... It's my kitchen. Wait. All right, I take a little more Crisco. Make the dough just a little wetter. and Make the cookies a little fatter. They're a little... A little low. I don't know. That what do I you will think? agree with. They are they're too flat. They are too flat, right? That I will they need agree to be with thicker. Okay. Alright, well, if you've made cookies like this, let me know what you think in the description below. And as always, that was Detus. Thanks for watching.